Hey guys, Dan Perez here, and I just wanted to take you through a quick tour of the new Teach Me Tricking site. So when you first log in, you'll be presented with the options to either train vert kicks or inverts, and of course you have a couple of extra options such as to go down to the bonus section. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit vert kicks for now, and that'll scroll you down to a list of lesson videos from this level. So you can see we're looking at level two here. We have a couple of different options. In the middle, the novice rounded misleg lesson. The runtime is 15 minutes and 45 seconds. So if I click that, it'll take me down to watch that video. It'll load it, and here I can watch it. Uh, from the area where you'd watch your videos, you can also go back up to the vert kicks or down to the inverts. So let's just do this first. You can scroll through these lessons, or you can use the selector down here. Uh, one of the things I wanted to point out as well is there is a short tutorial form. So this allows you to switch over to CMA style videos. So if you prefer to train by watching a shorter video just to get the concept down and then give it a shot, as opposed to a real-time lesson, then this is gonna cover virtually all the same content just in short tutorial form. You'll notice down below here, there is a level two selector. This is a version of the program that only has the first two levels. So I'm gonna switch over to level one and it'll auto update all this material to reflect the content from the previous level. So I can watch again in short tutorial form or follow along format for the uh, lessons that are real time. But there's also a third option up here for connections. And switching to this option means that I can now select techniques and see a video demonstration of what they look like when connected together. So for instance, if I wanna go from a pop 180 round into let's say a tornado kick, it'll auto update that video and now I can hit play and we'll check it out. So pop 180 round into tornado, that's a finished transition. If I wanna change that into a tsunami, we can see what that looks like. And I hit play, there's my redirect transition. And this is a helpful tool to give you a sense of what your technique should look like when connected together. So if I scroll down past this area to where we would watch our video, and this time I click the invert lessons, it's gonna take us down to virtually the exact same idea, but from the invert curriculum. So here I have my follow along lessons. I can change to level one again. I can change to the CMA form. And basically it just allows you to train the material specifically by the category of trick in which you're interested. So let's go down to the bonus section here. And here we have the same format, so follow along style lessons. I can change my level to level one. What's kind of neat about the bonus section is that the CMA short tutorial form actually covers some different material. There's definitely overlap, but you have, might have some additional options here. And the coolest thing is that the connection generator here is actually a combo tool. So this is a little different. Let's take a look at it. So you'll notice the first thing we see is a combo creator and there are some select boxes to choose our content. Basically I can hit this randomize button and it'll spit out a combo. But if for example, let's say I want to exclude vert kicks from the list, I can turn that off. I can also include a fourth hit in my combo and I hit randomize and it'll spit out some options for me to train. The other thing that I like to include in here is let's say I'm doing exclusively vert kicks and I randomize that, so I have round, a tsunami, pop, poke, and round. Now the thing is, I might be curious about what transitions are there, and for that, I have a transition trainer. So switching to this tab lets me choose any two vert kicks, such as that pop round and tornado again, and it'll automatically tell me what the transition is. That would be a vanish. If I change tornado to tsunami, that would be a redirect. Or for example, going into a pop 180 hook from there would be hold stance and pop transition. So this tool is great for bringing you up to speed on understanding your transitions, and again, it is level specific. So then below that, we have the download section. Here you can get PDFs of all of the combinations for specific videos on skills that you've unlocked, or testing syllabus, for example. And below that is the tutorial section. So if you have seen on some of my posts, I advertise tutorial lesson videos, which are skill packages where you can get, for example, a forward twist build. So that would include Ariel, Webster, and B-Twist, or raise and swing through. So that would start you with a beginner version of Gainer, include a raise and a touchdown raise. And any tutorial lesson which you've unlocked will be available here. You can click the lesson video and it will take you back to that same theater area and automatically load it. This Cheat 720 tutorial lesson comes in at just over a half an hour. So I hope you find the layout here pretty straightforward. Everything should just lead you to this middle section where you can train the content like you want. Some navigation to help you change between levels and curriculum, change the style of the material, whether you want real-time follow along as though you were in a class with me live online, or whether you prefer the short tutorial version. If you have any questions, drop me a line, and I hope you enjoy the new teachmetricking.com.